Hey, I'm here to talk to you about the new LAS and LIZ point cloud scaling operations and enhancements that were made to Trimble Business Center version 5.10. The easiest way to talk about this is to show it, and so that's what I'm going to do right here. We've got a point cloud that's been classified into its respective regions. Um, for the sake of this demonstration, let's say my objective here is to get the ground uh, point cloud of this collected SX10 data out to a client or to another customer or to um, one of my colleagues that is using TBC. I am in a grid system that TBC uh, natively works in. As you can see there on the lower right corner. And in the view filter manager, I'm going to go ahead and isolate just the ground layer. So far, no differences from past releases, great. I'll pick that layer to then export. In the point cloud sub tab, LAS or LAZ, these enhancements for 5.10 were done to both of these formats. And so far, no differences whatsoever. I'm working in ground, so I'm going to change the scaling to, or excuse me, I'm working in grid, so I'm going to change the scaling to grid. And that's really the method that we recommend, especially if you're working between TBC projects, if you're sharing this point cloud, for example, to another colleague that's using TBC, we'd recommend using the grid scaling upon export. You click the export button and what you'll get is the LAS file with a little text file if you've picked the grid option. That just shows you what the um, projection was and if there was a scale factor that needed to be applied. That's great. Some packages uh, or most packages in the market don't do that. Uh, we provide that for you so then you can be sure if you take this to a separate CAD package you'll know how to scale your point cloud. But here's where the fun comes in and the enhancement. If you take this LAS file and drag it back into TBC in version 5.10, and this is just for LAS and LAZ, you'll see this menu prompt. You've got three options here, and this is where you need to be careful because picking the wrong one of these will potentially lead you to some scale issues, some shifting issues of your point cloud. So let's run through these. In the non-geo-referenced ground scale point cloud option, that top one, this is typically raw data from a scanner. This is for uh, your TX8 data, for example, or if you know you've gotten your point cloud file from just raw scan data, non-geo-referenced in a ground scale, you know, take your tape measure out and one foot on your tape is one foot in the point cloud. The second option is the geo-referenced grid scale point cloud. This point cloud has been geo-referenced and the point cloud's coordinate system matches the project. This is for typically UAV data or like in our case, this is a grid scale project that we've exported and just exported it in grid. This is the option I should pick. And then this advanced user button, if you click that, there's a couple of neat things going on. If you pick then the user defined scale, here's where really that advanced option comes in. You'd be able to pick where, if this was ground scaled or grid scaled. And if it was grid scaled, you could pick the point cloud center or the combined scale factor. If you don't know what these are, or if you don't know what I'm talking about, we've got these estimate from file buttons or estimate from center that will help you along uh, the way. If it's ground scaled, it's ground scaled, let's assume this is scale factor one, there is no scale factor. And then if you're like, hey, TBC, don't mess with my point cloud, just give it to me how I've had it in the past with you're not touching anything with the scale factors, this unknown slash generic is the um, import method that was featured in TBC version five and earlier versions. I'm going to pick, for sake of demonstration, 
what I know to be the wrong option and, and show you the uh, uh, just how, how much you need to be paying attention here to which option you are uh, picking to import your point cloud. So I'm going to pick the non-geo-referenced ground scale point cloud. Say OK. TVC chugs and brings it in. Close the export. I got a little distracted there. And you can see double, for example, look at the SX10 station points. Here where my cursor is, that same point is over here in the point cloud. So this one is fairly obvious, that's why I picked this one to show you. You just really need to be paying attention into what you're doing and I'll show, I'll tell you the benefits here and why we chose to do it this way at the end. Go to my project explorer and delete that point cloud. All right, I'm seeing I'm back to my original point cloud. Now for comparison, drag and drop the OG grid file in and I'll pick the georeference grid scale point cloud. For 95 to 99% of the users, we estimate that these two cases here, the non-georeferenced ground scale point cloud and the georeferenced grid scale point cloud will suffice. The advanced user is a small sample case of um, uh, situations. And so again, don't be don't be too scared or don't be intimidated by this advanced user option. We imagine that most users will be served by one of these two options. And in this case, when I know I picked the right option, I'll click OK. TBC will import the point cloud. And I don't see anything, anything different at least. Well, that's a good thing because they came in right on top of each other. To prove that, I'm going to go into my point clouds tab and change the rendering to the scan colors. And I'm going to one by one, you see here in my view filter manager, turn off the scans. This OG-grid, that's the LAS file I just brought in. So let me turn off these other three scans that are already in here. All right, so the scan color of that one is um, not super good with colors, whatever color that is, cyan. Adding those point colors back, and those point colors back in, you can see they come back in right on top of each other. So in short, this enhancement is for LAS LAZ for TBC version 5.10. The reason we did this is because our message of TBC is that we want to be the geospatial and construction data hub for all different types of data. And this allows our users to work with grid scale point clouds, things that are, that are um, previously georeferenced to a known projection, such as UAV data, to then coexist with things that were just taken in a scale factor one ground system, like a, a terrestrial, you know, high speed terrestrial laser scanner, um, things like that. So without having any scale issues, they can all exist in a single project environment, whatever your coordinate system is, whatever your, your um, uh, distance units are, if they're grid units or if they're ground. This is a new feature in TBC version 5.10. Thank you.